to show you when you hit the power button nothing happens and that's because we don't have 240 volts and then there was another time when we did have 100 uh 240 volts and it would turn on but then when you go hit the start button it'll turn off completely it could be the same issue and problem if you're having the same symptoms that you don't have 240 volts coming to your dryer an explanation about taking off this top you should have three screws right behind here i'm going to remove the three phillips screws and take off the top panel welcome to another appliance repair video by all pro appliance Today we're working on a LG dryer and the issue and problem that we're having with it is that sometimes when you hit the power button it'll work and sometimes not and then when you go hit the start button it'll turn off immediately and you should only do this if you feel confident about dealing with live electricity because we do have it plugged in so this is a live wire test so you have to be extremely careful So what you're going to do is you have three wires coming in and you might even feel better if you take off this plate here and you can access the screws to make contact with your voltmeter probes. If you have a voltmeter, you put it on bolts. I have my fluke here and I'm putting it on bolts and you really <clears throat> want to have that low, low Z feature because that will give you a true reading sometimes it could fake you out but anyway you have 240 volts coming into a dryer the black wire is 120 the white wire is neutral the red wire is 120 so we call those 120s too hot a hot leg so we have two hot legs and one neutral so if we put our, our probes voltmeter across there I only got one hand but on the red wire and on the black wire and we should have 240 volts as you can see we only have 31.2 and and if you had 240 volts that's good but then you check your neutral on the white wire move the probe over and now you don't have nothing so we should have 120 volts so we don't have anything and so there's a problem with the power coming to the dryer and this could be your problem as well so if this is your problem you have to call an electrician or there's a problem in the outlet or the wiring in the wall either way it's not the dryer's fault on the other hand if the power button is not working and you are getting power to the dryer it could be the main control board or the display control board. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.